still includes five modules for the design of base plate and anchorage, steel columns, steel and composite beams, shear connections, and moment connections. To open a calculation, just click on any of the buttons of the modules. I have created a calculation, so let's double click. This is a template of uh, base plate and anchor rod design in ASDIP steel. The left pane is dedicated to the input and the right pane is dedicated to the output. In the geometry tab, you enter the dimensions, all the geometric information of your design. Also, you can specify the column from the AISC steel section database. For example, we can specify the W10 by 49, we select it, and the section has been added to the template. In the materials tab, you enter the material properties. At the top of the page, you can specify the seismic parameters. Here you enter the SDS and the omega zero. Here you specify the design criteria for the seismic tension and seismic shear per ACI. At the bottom of the page, here you specify the number and the location of the anchor rods. In the loads tab, you can specify either a single set of pre-combined loads or a set of nominal load cases and let us dip to combine them. The design can be per ASD or LRFD of AISC. The load that can be specified is the actual vertical load, uh, horizontal loads in both directions, and moments in both directions as well. In the anchorage tab, in the tension analysis tab, you specify the parameters for the tension analysis of your anchor rods. In the shear analysis tab, the shear can be resisted either by friction only, by shear log and friction, or by anchor rods only. And here you specify the corresponding parameters. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results. Here you can immediately see if something is failing. We go to the condensed tab. Here you can see a more detailed set of calculations uh, grouped by topic. Here is the anchorage design with the most important information. In the detail tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations step by step with exposed formulas, references to the AISC code, and also to the ACI code for the anchorage design. Finally, in the graph tab, you see a plan view of your base plate with the exact location of the bearing stresses. This white area means that it's not in contact with the support and these anchor rods are in tension. In the tension breakout tab, you see a plan and section view of the tension breakout area calculation. In the shear breakout tab, you see a plan and section view or the shear breakout area calculation. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's create a calculation for a steel column, double click. And this is a template for a column design in ASDIP steel. In the geometry tab, you enter the geometric information and the material properties, including the column size in the AISC sections database. In the stability tab, you can specify if the column is a sway column or a non-sway column. The analysis type can be amplified first order elastic analysis or general second order elastic analysis. In the first case, if you click on show parameters, the program calculates the amplified moments according to the magnification method in AISC. In the loads tab, as in the previous module, if you select load cases, then you need to enter dead life, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic forces. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results with the most important information in one screen so you can immediately identify any problem. If you go to the condensed tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic and per load combination. If you go to the detail tab, you see a more detailed set of calculations with references to the AISC code and exposed formulas. Finally, in the graph tab, the program can raise the interaction diagram for the steel column and the biaxial bending diagram as well. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's create a calculation of a composite beam design. Double click. This is a template for a steel and composite beam design in ASDIP steel. In the steel beam tab, you enter the beam information from the AISC section database, as well as the material properties. At the bottom of the page, you specify the number of supports the maximum is six supports, so five spans, and two cantilevers. Here you enter the span length, and here the type of support. Let's go to the slab deck tab. Here you enter the material properties for the concrete. Here are the dimensions of the concrete slab, if any. If the beam is composite, you check this box, otherwise just uncheck it. Here you specify the metal deck and orientation, and here at the bottom, the, the diameter of the shear studs. In the loads tab, similar to the previous modules, ASDIP still lets you specify final loads and construction loads. 
In either case, you enter either uniform, variable, concentrated load, or moments. In the right pane, at the at a glance tab, you see a summary of the results with a, a non-composite flexure design and composite flexure design, designed for shears and deflections. We go to the condensed tab, a more detailed set of calculations with the support reactions. We design for shear, the local buckling, flexure design for non-composite, we go to the detail tab, a much more detailed set of calculations with references to the AISC code, exposed formulas, designed for flexure and non-composite, designed for flexure and composite beam. And finally, in the graph tab, this is an example of three span beam with two cantilevers with different uniform and concentrated loads. The program generates the shear diagram and the moment diagram, and this can be sorted by load combination. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's create a calculation of a shear connection. Double click. This is a template for a shear connection design in ASIP steel. In the geometry tab at the top, you specify the type of connection. Could be a single angle, double angle, single plate, or a T connection. You can see graphically your connection as you go in the graph tab. In the support tab, you can specify the support is a column flange or a column web, or a beam web. In the beam tab, you enter the information from the beam. The top flange can be coped, and the bottom flange can be coped. In the angle tab, you enter the information about the connector. It can be bolted or can be welded. In the loads tab, you enter the information as in similar modules, and you specify the vertical load P. In the glance tab at the right, this is a summary of the results with the connection strength. Here you can see the limit states and the capacity for this connection. And at the right is the combined load per load combination. In the condensed tab, some more detailed set of calculations, grouped by topic, the connection strength, and the combined loads. Here are the design checks and the geometric constraints. We go to the detail tab, some more detailed set of calculations, combined loads. The connection strength with the references to the AISC code, exposed formulas, with all the limit states. Finally, in the graph tab, you see a front view, side view, and top view of the connection with the design summary. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's create a calculation for a moment connection design. Double click. And this is a template for the moment connection design in ASIP Steel. At the top, you specify the type of moment connection. It can be flange plated, can be welded flange, or can be an end plate connection. Graphically, you can see the connection as you go. In the column tab, you specify the column section in the AISC sections database. Also, you specify the top condition. In the beam tab, you specify the beam size, also the beam type of connection, either double angle or single shear plate. In the flange plate, you specify the dimensions of the plate. The connection is bolted or welded. In the angle, you specify the, the type of connector with the dimensions, if the angle is bolted or if it's welded. In the load tab, similar to the previous module, you enter the vertical load P and the bending moment M. The at glance tab shows a summary of the results with the moment connection strength it is the shear connection strength. You go to the condensed tab, we can see a more detailed set of calculations with the shear connection strength, the moment connection strength, and the combined loads. In the detail tab, a much more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with references to the AISC, all the limit states. And finally, graphically, you can see a front view and side view and a top view of the design moment connection. If you are interested in the software, please visit the website www.azipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial.